Great Divide. Corporations versus your wallet. Let's face it, corporations often seem to rake in money effortlessly, while many individuals struggle to make ends meet. Why is that? It's like corporations are playing a different game, a game with different rules and bigger rewards. They have access to resources, strategies, and opportunities that most individuals don't. But don't worry, understanding these differences can empower you to make smarter financial decisions. This isn't about demonizing corporations. It's about understanding the systems at play and how you can navigate them to improve your own financial well-being. We'll break down these complex concepts into bite-sized pieces, making it easier for you to grasp. From understanding corporate tax breaks to learning about investment strategies that can benefit you, we aim to provide you with the knowledge you need, so you can walk away feeling informed and empowered. Knowledge is power, and by understanding how corporations operate, you can take steps to secure your financial future. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into these topics, offering practical tips and insights along the way. Big Business Big savings. The power of bulk buying. One major advantage corporations have is economies of scale. This means they can produce goods at a lower cost per unit because they are making and buying in large quantities. Think of it like buying in bulk. When you purchase items in larger quantities, you often receive a discount. When you buy a huge quantity of something, you usually get a discount. This is because the cost of producing and shipping each item decreases as the volume increases. Corporations operate on a massive scale, buying and selling in huge volumes. This allows them to spread out their fixed costs over a larger number of units, reducing the cost per unit. This allows them to negotiate lower prices for materials, production, and even shipping. By leveraging their purchasing power, they can secure better deals and pass on some of these savings to consumers. These savings add up quickly, boosting their profits significantly. Over time, these cost reductions can lead to substantial financial gains, allowing companies to reinvest in their business and grow even further. Imagine saving a few dollars on every item when you're selling millions. The cumulative effect of these savings can be enormous contributing to a company's overall financial health and competitive advantage. It's a simple concept with a powerful impact on a company's bottom line. By understanding and utilizing the power of bulk buying, businesses can achieve greater efficiency, lower costs, and higher profits, ultimately driving their success in the marketplace. Tax breaks and loopholes. Corporations playing by different rules taxes we all pay them but corporations often have teams of lawyers and accountants who can find legal ways to minimize their tax burdens these strategies while legal can feel unfair to the average person who doesn't have access to such resources tax laws are complex and corporations use this complexity to their advantage they might get deductions for investments research, or even moving their operations to countries with lower tax rates. While these strategies are legal, they contribute to the growing wealth gap. Money Magnet How Corporations Attract Capital Imagine needing money to start a business. You might go to a bank, right? Corporations have even more options. They can issue stocks, sell bonds, or secure large loans with favorable terms. These financial instruments are often inaccessible to individuals. This easy access to capital gives corporations a huge advantage in expanding their operations, investing in new technologies, and even acquiring competitors. It's like having a much larger financial playground to explore and profit from. Section 5 The Little Guys Struggle Bills, debt, and saving for a rainy day. Now, let's contrast this with the average person's financial reality. You likely juggle bills, manage debt, and try to save for the future. It's a constant balancing act, and unexpected expenses can easily derail your best laid plans. 
You might not have a team of financial experts at your disposal or the ability to issue stocks. Building wealth as an individual requires discipline, smart planning, and often a bit of sacrifice. But don't lose hope. Section 6. From Startup to Empire Real Life Tales of Corporate Wealth We've all heard the stories. Amazon starting in a garage, Apple born in a small California town. These companies started small but grew exponentially, amassing vast wealth along the way. Their founders became billionaires, their brands globally recognized. These stories are inspiring but they also highlight the immense wealth-generating potential of corporations. Understanding how these companies leverage their advantages can provide valuable lessons for your own financial journey. Section 7. Level up your finances. Tips for growing your money. So, how can you, as an individual, level the playing field? The journey to financial growth starts with understanding your current financial situation and setting clear, achievable goals. While you might not have the same advantages as corporations, you can adopt smart financial habits to grow your wealth. It's about making informed decisions and being consistent with your efforts. Budgeting. Track your income and expenses meticulously. Create a detailed budget that outlines your monthly income and all your expenditures. Knowing where your money goes is the first step to controlling it. This awareness helps you identify areas where you can cut back and save more. Saving. Make it a habit to save a portion of your income. Set up automatic transfers to your savings account to ensure consistency. Even small amounts add up over time. Consider setting specific savings goals, like an emergency fund or a vacation fund, to keep you motivated. Investing. Explore investment options like index funds or retirement accounts. Diversify your investments to spread risk and increase potential returns. Let your money work for you. Start with small investments and gradually increase as you become more comfortable and knowledgeable. Debt Management Prioritize paying down high-interest debts. Create a debt repayment plan that focuses on eliminating the most costly debts first. This frees up more of your money for saving and investing. Consider consolidating debts to lower interest rates and simplify payments. Financial Literacy Learn about personal finance. Knowledge is power. Take advantage of resources like books, online courses, and workshops. The more you understand, the better decisions you can make. Stay informed about financial trends and updates to keep your strategies relevant. Remember, you don't need to become a financial expert overnight. Start with the basics and gradually build your knowledge. Start small, be consistent, and celebrate your progress along the way. Each step forward is a step towards financial freedom and security. Section 8. Knowledge is Power Take control of your financial future The wealth gap between corporations and individuals might seem daunting, but it's not insurmountable. By understanding the forces at play and adopting smart financial habits, you can take control of your financial future. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient Stay informed, and never underestimate the power of consistent effort. Your future self will thank you.